Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, my topic is what schools am I applying to with a 503 MCAT score? I know what some of you guys are thinking. This is a lower MCAT score. Statistically, it is. But I have faith I'm going to get into medical school this cycle. And matter of fact, I have already gotten an interview. <laughs> Which sounds so crazy to say. At 3 a.m., I got an interview invite via email which is crazy to me if you guys are pre-meds you know like obviously we work so hard in undergrad to get the grades we need and and the mcat and getting the mcat score we need and it's it's a lot and um to see the fruits of your labor is just so beautiful when that happens so i'm going to share um where i'm applying to i use a mix of things to put together my school list I use my stats, my experiences, my mission as a doctor, like what I want to do personally as a doctor that aligns with the school's mission and my extracurriculars and letters of recommendation, just looking at my strengths, looking at my weaknesses, and um, I concurred a list. I'm applying to 23 schools. And um, part of the reason why I'm able to apply to so many schools is because I qualified for FAP, the fee assistant program, if you guys believe that you can qualify for it or if you just don't know, it doesn't hurt to apply. So I applied to the fee assistant program when I decided to take my MCAT. And this is another factor that I used as well. So part of the reason why my MCAT is a little bit on the lower side is because I took it early. I took it my sophomore summer. So right after my sophomore year, I took the MCAT. I didn't take physics yet, I didn't take biochemistry, and I also was not familiar with the concepts of psychology and sociology, and also I hadn't taken anatomy, which there barely is any anatomy, but it just adds to what went into getting my score. So I took it early because I knew I wasn't going to have time to do it during my junior year because I planned my extracurriculars already and my um, classes were looking heavy as well as in the summer of my junior year, I had planned to go to Ecuador. This trip was going to provide me with the opportunity to shadow a bunch of different doctors, to get hands-on clinical experience and to refine my knowledge of the Spanish language which I did so I just came back from Ecuador and um, I'm in the process of submitting my secondaries and um, just waiting to hear back uh, so that went all into getting the MCAT score that I did if you guys watched my videos you would know it was a journey so it was a week before my taking my MCAT I scored a 503 on my practice exam. I felt confident to take my MCAT after getting that practice exam score because I finally broke over 500. During this application season and picking what school I applied to, I also had to consider the fact that I am a minority student. And I actually just checked this morning, I didn't know before, but the average MCAT score for matriculating black students is a 506. Compared to this average score, a 503 isn't that far off. A little bit below average, but my GPA made up for it in the fact that I do have a 3.9 GPA. And the average GPA for a matriculating black student is a 3.5. So knowing that my GPA was well above average, applying to medical school in general, my GPA was above average, which I felt very confident about. The only thing that I really saw that lacked in my application was my MCAT score and the fact that I didn't have as much research as I wanted to. I'm going to be finishing an independent research course uh, my next semester and that is my last semester of college I'm also graduating early there's a bunch of different factors that come into play when you should think about what school you want to apply to there's location there's your stats there's your backgrounds because everybody has a unique story to tell and I think that when thinking about the schools you want to apply to I would lean into your experience of who you are as a person rather than your stats because almost every pre-med student has good grades and has good MCAT scores. The only thing that makes you different than somebody else is your story. So 
I just want to highlight the fact that when you're applying to medical school, your story needs to be highlighted, needs to be seen in your application. <sighs> okay, let's read off my school list. These are the schools. I might just like put the list right here so I don't have to like put in the individual words because that's a lot of editing and I'm still in the middle of writing secondaries. So I'm applying to Albany, Drexel, Geisinger, George Washington, Howard, Lewis Kratz, which is Temple, Luma Linda, Wisconsin, Meharry, Morehouse, Northeast Ohio, Oregon, Penn State, SUNY Upstate, Toledo, Louisville, South Carolina. Quick side note here, I'm not applying to South Carolina Greenville anymore because of their high preference to in-state students. UVA, UPenn, Wright State, and my DO schools are Philadelphia, Lake Erie, and Liberty. Yeah, those are all the schools I'm applying to. So far, I've received 16 secondaries. I'm still waiting on my other secondaries right now and I've submitted 12 of the ones that I've received I think I think it's 12 there's so many to keep up with that's why I have this little handy dandy chart thing that I'm keeping on my computer that I will share when I'm done my application cycle I'm trusting God that he will take me wherever he has me during this process so everyone has their own journey doing this that's like the whole point of my video, that everybody has their own journey. So don't compare yourself to anybody because you're not them, you're you. I will see you guys later on. I don't know when because, again, I'm in the middle of the season, guys. But, um, yeah, I will talk to you guys in my earliest convenience. I love you guys so much. I've been seeing the love you guys have been giving me on my channel. And I cannot wait till we hit 800 subscribers and 1,000 next. So show me some love, subscribe, like, and comment. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love you guys.